Hey, this is uh, our Algebra Class Tuesday, April 7th weekly conference and check-in. Uh, the agenda here is pretty straightforward. Uh, we've done a little bit of charades, just so everybody can kind of practice their microphones and their, and their animation. Um, when I first kind of roll out to everybody, how, how, is the, how was the first week of school? Any feedback? It was good. Interesting. Yeah, it's good. Good and interesting. Add, add a little more. Casey, you said interesting. What was interesting about it? My microphone wasn't working, so I had to fix it, but it works now. Okay. There you go. Anyone else feedback? If it was good, was the workload manageable? Was the workload too much? Well, um, I don't know if it was just me, but I thought there's a lot less work. Like, I don't know, it's just like, it took me a lot less time to complete everything for my day than it did in actual school. Yeah, I, I agree. You wanna, I don't know if it's just me, but. So put, put your hand up or, or, or give the thumbs up if you felt like, wow, there was a lot less to do than in a given day of school. Okay. Why do you, and anyone wanna speculate why that might be? Cause like, I mean, in a day of school, we have you for, like, 80 minutes, and we can, like, work with that, and, like, that's all, kind of a lot of time compared to, like, what we have now, because, like, now we have, like, not that much time compared to, like, last time, and then, like, some people can have, like, computer problems and stuff, so you have to troubleshoot. Okay. Are there, are uh, there's, a, there's a lot less distractions. Yeah. What, what would be an example of a distraction? Or like you're at school, you're like talking with friends and like working together and stuff. But now it's just like you just do it quick and you're done with it. Right. I think there's a huge social component uh, that you bring up there, Ethan, about what kind of happens, the amount of learning and practice that goes on in the day, and then how much of it is just social interaction and behavior management, all these different things. So that's a, a big a big point. Hey, Nora, welcome. Glad you glad you got through. Can you give us a, a microphone check? And if you're trying to talk, if not, put a text in the chat box. I'm here. I hear you loud and clear. Well, I hear you clear. How about that? All right. Well, welcome. So, so first of all, we're just kind of checking in on the, on what, um, how the pace of the first week went. It looked like many of you were rolling on your, on your Khan Academy work or your, basically your assignments. Um, I wanna, I'm gonna jump back over here for just a second. Um, are there any outstanding questions about kind of what's the point, what's going on, what we need to be doing, those kind of things that I can answer for you right now? Going, going, go on. And you can stick on to the end of the meeting or send me a private message too, uh, if, you wanna, if you wanna do it that way. Hey, if you, if you get into um, content that you need help with, emailing me is just great. I'm here to help. Another thing I'd really encourage you to do is post your questions to, to the discussion thread. You can see the Canvas page right now, yes? Ooh, do you see Canvas? Okay. Um, just over here on the left, discussions for every big assignment, you have a performance task coming up. And as you have questions, please post them here because this is your chance to have other people answer questions more quickly. It's a chance for them to um, demonstrate mastery of a concept that they can help you with a problem and they're doing a, they have got a very good understanding of it. It's pretty easy if there's a topic here, you can just click on it. And then in the reply, if it goes, bah -bah, you can put in a reply and you can post a video, you can hold up something to the board, like right here is how you can just link a video directly in it. Um, you can type out your answer, whatever you wanna do. So please, please, please help each other out because that is uh, a big goal, right? I mentioned Khan Academy, this is where you're currently standing as far as the overall course mastery. So if you feel like, hey, this is pretty easy, I got it down. I'm ready, uh, I don't know what to do next. Don't forget to keep working on your con because this is still something I'm holding you to. Uh, more specifically, we're focusing on this unit on exponential growth and decay. And many of you are just rolling. Ben is like, I'm getting it. Nora, she's rolling with it. You guys are working ahead, that's really smart. Um, my hope is that in the next maybe 10 days, you've wrapped up this whole unit um, and you're already starting on your performance task. Any questions or thoughts on the old Khan Academy? Any feedback? How do you like doing, as of right now, solely electronic assignments? 
Uh, I like it. It's nice and self-paced. I can, like, wake up whenever I want, and normally I can get some work done. So. I don't have to get up at 6 in the morning and get on a bus. So it's nice. Good point. But could I could give you paper assignments, too, right? I could be like, hey, do these pages out of the book. What What do you think about doing it? TJ, you're shaking your head. Or is that your game? It's like, no, the giraffe just ate my apple. Um... I would preferably not like to do paper assignments. Um, I don't know, because whenever I've used the book to actually learn the thing that was trying, I was supposed to go on, it never really worked out for me. Okay. Well, th those things are going to creep back into the mix. But I appreciate your feedback because just having that little, uh, that was really weird, Nick and Ben, watching you switch places there in the camera. That was pretty crazy. Um, but no, I'm just, please give me feedback, give uh, other teachers feedback. As we try to develop something that works for everyone, you know, we only see it from our world. In, even if we try to put it ourselves in your shoes, give us feedback. Help us figure out what's working, what's not working, what can be improved. You know, one thing you've seen is you can do, do assignments again. You can get the grade you want, resubmit it, do it over. Um, so that's really important to kind of keep that growth mindset and, and do it till you do it right. I'm going to switch back here. Um, weekly quizzes. Yep, you've got a quiz. Let me jump over to the Canvas page right now and just make sure you know what's going on next. So after we're done today, I mean, you're supposed to be in class till two. If you can do it sooner than that, do it sooner than that. But I've posted a, a little assignment here and a brief video about exponential functions, about how to evaluate and solve them. And this is definitely going a lot deeper into the subject. You're gonna focus on this a lot more in algebra too, but in order to do your performance project, uh, you need to know how to solve um, an exponential function. Then the rest of the week, basically you've got a few more assignments to do. I think you maybe you've already done this first quiz. Uh, and again, it comes to the quiz, so do it until you get the grade you want. Um, we've got office hours again on Thursday, and then Friday is, we don't actually have school, but I've put a one-on-one -on -one appointments here. If you want some extra one-on-one -on -one time um, after our office hours on Thursday, that's another time to book it. All right, I'm blabbing too much. Here we go. And Ms. Ms. Kate and Ms. Alyssa, please jump in on this if you, if you see something that I'm missing. On the, on the right side here is, this is something I grabbed off uh, World Health Organization on yesterday, Monday morning. And it shows the current number of confirmed cases from the COVID-19 and the number of deaths that have resulted, the number of countries. And you can clearly see this is an exponential graph. I mean, it's kind of turned vertically instead of sideways, but it works just as well. And, not that we need to talk about COVID-19 all the time, but this is certainly the big elephant in almost everyone's room in their house right now. Whether you're at home working with siblings, if you've got your dog at the, at the meeting as well, or your cat or your bird or your turtle, we are all feeling the impacts of what's going on. And part of the importance of algebra and why we're studying exponential functions is making sense of the world, right? We can model these things. We can understand what's going on. We can use that information to make good decisions so we're not overwhelming our medical system, so we are, we are providing the care that we need. And then the big part of it is just you, is that we need to pass on this knowledge and understanding to you, who are the future public health workers and scientists and engineers and actors and plumbers and teachers and financial advisors and carpenters and everything. I mean, that's why we're spending so much time working on this is because we need you to help us solve these, these global problems that everyone's facing right now. Okay. And, and where it comes home is, is this question here. And if you take a look at this for just a moment, by the end of the week, I'm hoping you have the mathematical skill to answer these questions. Because that's why we're trying to, we're trying to help you understand what's going on. We're trying to give you the tools to help make a positive influence on what's going on. And the fact is, a lot of this is some, some advanced mathematical understanding. 